Hey, I hope you're having a good day today. So this is going to be an achievement guide on how to get to 1000 achievement points. Here's the meat and potatoes at the start if you want to pause or go back to it so that you can start collecting points on the website and then you can start gearing up your character for those off pieces, trinkets, or weapons that you want to get through the, the store. Some quick notes. The Outland dungeons all require heroic keys or attunement to get into, so you're going to have to run all of the Outland dungeons at least once, if not a couple of times, to get enough rep. I'm pretty sure I just had to run each one one time, and then I had enough rep to go get the key for each place, but you need honored rep to get the keys for most places. And a special note for the Tempest Keep dungeons, you have to have a key, like an actual key, that is obtained through a quest line, or have a rogue to get into Architrats because it has a key for the door itself. And also for Magister's Terrace, so you have to run through Magister's Terrace normal to get the quest done and then turn the quest in and then you can go do a rogue. And as a little experiment, I picked up every single thing. If you do just the Outland achievements for the dungeons, you're gonna get about 13k with current market prices. So if you're curious on, you know, my pricing and all that kind of stuff, I've got it here on the screen. You can slow down or pause, go back, etc. And then the raw gold that I also picked up was about 2,700 gold bring an enchanter if you're going to do this. A lot of the stuff, all the BOPs, you know, from the bosses, you make sure that you're going to disenchant them. You're going to make a lot more money than just selling them at a vendor prices. But the goal that I got from just enchanting the DE stuff was about 5,700 gold. The rest is all bags and miscellaneous things. So if you're going to do the Azeroth dungeons as well, make sure that you get a water walking potion. If you're a death knight or somebody with water walking, you can avoid this. Basically I start off in Ragefire Chasm in Org, go to Black Fathom Deeps, and then you can water walk around the left side of the continent and it will save you time. Or you can follow the route here. And make sure you get the flight point in Thousand Needles. It's a little bit of a pain to go up there on the balcony, but when you come back later to Dire Mall and Maradon, you're gonna wish you had it. So then go to Dalaran and go to Undercity, and you're gonna want to start off at Shadowfang Keep and then double back and do Scarlet Monastery, then Skolomance and Strathholm, Hearth, and go to Undercity or go to Org and take a zeppelin to Gromgrawl and you're gonna go to Dead Mines and then you're gonna go to Sunken Temple just make your way across the, carefully because there's a lines if you're horde and then you're gonna go up kind of my drawing here isn't perfect but you're gonna take a left you know go west and then go north to stockades and then when you're in stockades mole machine and then go to blackrock depths blackrock spire and then go over to old man and then go to nomergan last and that will be all of the azeroth dungeons so that's basically a thousand achievement points right there some easy achievement points i put at the start are kill one person duel one person uh kill uh enemy faction and do slash love or slash hug go get a haircut in dalaran put a tabard on for represent get any pet for can i keep you know these are all super super easy in my opinion to get and you can mix and match and then if you do any raids or any gearing stuff or any extra dungeons at all you'll very easily get over a thousand achievement points and the easiest way to get the Northrend dungeons is to just queue for the one that you're missing. So you can do RDF and just spam RDF until you knock them all out and you're saved. Or, like I said, you can queue a particular one. So, or form a group, you know. I multi-boxed all of this so I could do it on my own time. You can very easily do a lot of this stuff solo and it just takes time. I hope this helps you and let me know if you have any suggestions on easy achievements to get and I can make like a part two or something like that to this. The pets are an easy one. Any, if there's any holidays going on, make sure you get all the holiday ones. There's a ton of cooking and fishing achievements that are super easy, but I personally hate cooking and, and fishing. I find those things really monotonous. So I like to just play the game you know to get achievements so this is how i do it and if you just do these ones right here playing the game you'll get a thousand achievement points and it doesn't really take that long um the azeroth dungeons in my opinion are the worst part because you have to run around so much and if you have new characters and they don't have flight pass it's a lot of running so anyway i hope this helps you out 
and have a great day.